A cat and mouse wanted to live together and keep a house as partnership. They prepared for a winter by using a pot of fat. And because they had no safer spot for it, they placed it under the altar in the church until such a time that they would need it. However, one day the cat took a longing for it and approached the mouse. Listen, little mouse, my cousin has invited me to serve as godfather. She has given birth to a brown and white spotted little son, and I am supposed to carry him to his baptism. Is it all right for me to leave you home alone with the housework today? Go ahead, and if they serve you something good, just think of me. I would certainly welcome a drop of good red christening wine. But the cat went straight to the church and ate the top off the fat, and then went strolling about the town and did not return home until evening. You must have had a good time. What name did they give the child? Top Off. <coughs> Top Off? That's a strange name. Not one that I've ever heard before. Soon afterward, the cat took another longing and went to the mouse and said, I've been asked to serve as godfather once again. The child has a white ring around its body and I can't say no. You have to do me a favor and take care of the housework for yourself today. The mouse agreed and the cat went up and ate up half the fat. When she returned home, the mouse asked, And what name did this godchild receive? Half gone. Half gone? Well, that's a strange name. What are you telling me? I've never heard that name before. It certainly isn't in any almanac. Now the cat could not take his mind off the pot of fat. <coughs> I've been invited to serve as godfather for a fourth time. The child is black and has white paws, but not another white hair on his entire body. That only happens once in a few years. You will let me go, won't you? Top off, half gone. Those names are so curious that it makes me a bit susp suspicious. But, go ahead. The mouse took care of the house and cleaned up everything, while the cat finished off the pot of fat. Round and full, she did not return home until night time. So what is the third child's name? Oh, gone. Oh, gone? That is a worrisome name. Oh, gone. Just, just what does this mean? I've never seen that in the prints. No one invited the cat to serve as godfather a fourth time. Winter soon came, and when they could no longer find anything to eat outside, the mouse said to the cat, Let's go get the provisions that we've hid in the church under the altar. They went there, but the pot was empty. Now I see. You came here when you said you were invited to be a godfather. First, it was top off, then it was half gone, and then it was... Be still. I'll eat you up if you say another word. All gone. The words were already out of the poor mouse's mouth, and she had scarcely said it before the cat jumped on her and swallowed her down. The end. Bum, 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 bum. I'm Arnold.